former President Trump says that you've had four years as vice president to do all the things you've promised in the campaign, but haven't done it. Is he right? The former president is, um, is really becoming quite desperate and, and is, um, has really been um, offering a lot of misstatements and, and misinformation. And perhaps it's because he wants to distract from the fact that he has offered no plan for the American people. My plan is about building an opportunity economy. Oh, my God. There we go with the opportunity economy again that she's been hiding from the American people for the last three and a half years. Joining me now, Dave Ramsey, personal finance expert, host of The Ramsey Show. Dave, it's always wonderful to see you. But she talks about, like, well, he doesn't have a plan and he doesn't understand. what. But you talk to folks every day in your show and they ask for your advice. Do people think things are working now as they should? And what are their financial struggles? No, I think they realize exactly where we stand. And like you uh, are aware, we sat down with President Trump last week. And the question I asked him, uh, you know, in the first part of your term is if you get, you get in, in the first 90 days, people are concerned about $7 eggs, 7% 7 interest rates, house prices outpacing their wages. They're concerned about $5 gas. The, the, that this is, I, think, I think the economy is the number one issue in the election. Well, and the stories, Dave, about families, parents having to dig into their 401ks and their, their retirement plans. I was listening to your show, this is a couple months ago, and someone called in about, about that. W what do they do today? Yeah, I mean, people are doing all kinds of different things. Um, some are coping better than others. Some are more willing to cut lifestyle in order to, you know, use some common sense in their budgets. But um, and, th and most of the people on our show are not waiting on someone in the White House to fix their life. They're well aware that their life is their responsibility uh, and what happens in their house is more important. But the White House can set the table. Uh, the, the administration can set the table and let the economy run and, and give people an opportunity to go prosper. What did you, how did you find um, President Trump in your interview? You know, we sat down, did a long form interview. We posted it yesterday morning. We've had about 2 million people watch it in the last 24 hours. And I found him to be just real calm, really, really knowledgeable. Uh, dropped oh, yeah. all the numbers and they were all right on, on the different issues on taxation and on energy and on the economy. Because that's what I was hitting him on was that stuff. But it was just two guys sitting and having a conversation. <laughs> well, did Kamala Harris, did you, did you get a chance to interview her or? We reached out to both camps, and the Harris camp has told us that we're under consideration. Oh, well. Dave, I have to say, of all the shows that you've done over the years, and you won the Marconi, one of the great radio hosts, that will be the tour de force. So I'm looking forward to your sitting down. <laughs> Kamala Harris can explain, you know, the personal financial struggles of Americans and how her policies of the opportunity economy will make it all get better. Dave Ramsey always says, take control of your own finances, live within your means, which is what Congress needs to do. Dave, thank you so much. Congrats. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.